Cause we sitting in here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 athletes who lost it on live TV. Nobody likes you. Nobody respects you. Okay. Just so you know. For this list, we'll be looking at times famous sports people lost their composure when being interviewed by broadcasters and reporters. Have you ever lost it when being interviewed? Let us know below. Number 10, Derek Anderson, 2010. Late in the 2010 NFL season when the Arizona Cardinals were taking a beating from the San Francisco 49ers, quarterback Derek Anderson was seen on camera laughing with teammate Deuce Latui during a timeout. When a reporter asked the quarterback about the incident, he bizarrely erupted and claimed he wasn't laughing. It wasn't, it wasn't funny. I wasn't laughing about anything. Then he descended into a curse word filled rant at the poor reporter. Anderson progressively got angrier as the journalist mentioned the footage. I'm just telling you right now what I do every single week. Every single week, I put my freaking heart and soul into this. I study my ass off. I don't go out there and laugh. It's not funny. It's not fun. Nothing's funny to me. I don't want to go out there and get embarrassed on Monday Night Football in front of everybody. That's why I'm asking you what I'm telling there. you right now. We're not, we're talking. Deuce and I are talking. After the dire interview, Anderson claimed he was getting abuse from a fan behind him at the game, and Latui made a joke about it, causing him to laugh. Number 9. Tyson Fury, 2018 Having been out of the boxing world for three years, Tyson Fury had made plans to return to the ring in 2018. So the UK's ITV News spoke to the multi-title winner, and it went bad. Straight away, the reporter quizzed Fury on the problematic things he'd previously said. No comment, don't even go there. The boxer began responding with a barrage of no comments, as well as telling the journalist to stick to the boxing as he swayed from side to side in discomfort. It came to a head when asked about his battle with the UK Anti-Doping Agency, which began in 2016 after Fury tested positive for banned substances. Suddenly, the boxer roared, terminated, with a dramatic hand gesture before walking away. You terminated! You don't, don't want to talk about it, Tyson. Number 8. Mitch Austin, 2017 In 2017, then-Melbourne victory footballer Mitch Austin sat down to chat with ABC sports reporter George Tunney on News Breakfast. The reporter kicked it off with a question about how the team could improve their fortunes after the disappointment from the previous season. Quickly, Austin began to struggle with the pressure of a live talk. We've just lost Mitch, uh, unfortunately there. He soon apologized and walked off the set, briefly walking past the anchors on camera as they addressed the situation. The anchors and Tunney later explained that Austin had a panic attack, but he was doing okay. Number 7. Bart Scott, 2011 during the 2010 AFC Divisional game, the New York Jets took on the New England Patriots, and they pulled off a shock win. Obviously, this caused elation among their fans, but none appeared more delighted than the Jets inside linebacker Bart Scott. He celebrated by pretending to be an airplane on the field in front of the cameras. He then landed, ready for an interview with ESPN. But before Sal Palantonio could get a word in, Scott declared the performance was... To all the non-believers! How did that... To all the non-believers! A fired-up Scott took shots at the Jets' detractors throughout, but one of the best lines is when he claimed the Patriots couldn't stop a nosebleed. Amazing. They can't stop a nosebleed. 25th in the league, and we the one to get disrespected. Congratulations. See you in Pittsburgh. Can't wait. Number 6. Per Mertzacker. 2014. At the 2014 FIFA World Cup, Germany took on Algeria in the round of 16. While the Europeans were expected to win, and they did, the African nation made it difficult as they needed extra time to secure victory. And during a post-match interview, Germany defender Per Mertzacker was not a happy bunny, especially when the reporter criticized his team several times. Not letting that go, a tired and annoyed Mertzacker spoke his mind, taking shots at the reporter on the way. In 2022, Mertzacker found the funny side of that tense chat. He claimed, at the time, he never wanted to do interviews again. Number 5. Floyd Mayweather Jr. 2009 After announcing his comeback in 2009, the boxing icon Floyd Mayweather Jr. chatted with ESPN's Brian Kenny, and boy, was it intense. Straight away, Mayweather took offense when Kenny called him the We welcome into Sports Center the former number one pound for pound fighter in the world, 
Floyd Mayweather. As the interview became more hostile, Mayweather laid down a wonderful burn by calling the reporter a, a, a man of many traits, a master of nothing. This wouldn't be the last time Floyd lost his cool on live TV. In 2011, Mayweather didn't look too great when talking to the legendary Larry Merchant after his controversial win against Victor Ortiz. When the analyst criticized Mayweather's dodgy tactics, he ranted that Merchant should be fired. Merchant responded in kind. I wish I was 50 years younger and I'd kick your ass. Number 4. Nate Diaz, 2015. All MMA fans know that Nate Diaz and his brother Nick have never been afraid to speak their mind. This moment encapsulates this. Fresh off his win against Michael Johnson at UFC on Fox, Dos Anjos vs. Cowboy 2, UFC commentator Joe Rogan entered the octagon to interview the victorious younger Diaz brother. But rather than discuss his performance, Diaz instead used the opportunity to make an unforgettable call-out. Yeah, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, mother I'm going to fight your f You know what's the real fight and what's the real money fight is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't no one want to see that. You know you beat them already. That's the easy fight. You want that real Unfortunately, Rogan had to take the microphone away, but ultimately Diaz got his wish, stepping in for the injured Rafael Dos Anjos at UFC 196 and not only giving fans an unforgettable fight, but taking part in one of the greatest rivalries in UFC history. Number 3. Ryan Leaf, 1998. The uh, second choice in the draft, the San Diego Chargers select quarterback, Washington State University, Ryan Leaf. With all the pressure that comes with expectations of being an athlete, some unfortunately collapse under it. And that was seemingly the case for NFL quarterback Ryan Leaf in 1998. Drafted by the San Diego Chargers, this player lost his composure after his team lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. His week three effort against the Chiefs remains an NFL all-time low. After reportedly clashing with a camera operator, Leaf was later recorded screaming obscenities at reporter Jay Posner in the locker room. Don't talk to me, all right? Knock it off! Leaf's teammates stepped in to defuse the situation. Later that day, he reluctantly issued an on-camera apology to Posner for his behavior. I misdirected my anger after the Kansas City game. I was extremely disappointed in my performance, and I let it show. Number 2. Quentin Rampage Jackson, 2009 in 2009, former UFC light heavyweight champion Quentin Rampage Jackson was interviewed by Heather Nichols for Cage Potato. After mentioning his acting aspirations, Nichols claimed she had an idea about a rom-com film with Jackson. For some reason, this made him begin to act very creepy as he inappropriately touched her and gyrated against her for a really long time. Grim. But this wouldn't be his only bizarre mishap with a female reporter. In 2011, he chatted with MMA Heat's Karen Bryant after his win at UFC 130. Near the end of the interview, Jackson uttered he wanted to motorboat the journalist and proceeded to mime it while mentioning his iffy past with reporters. Double yikes. You know I be hunting, uh, humping reporters, so you might I've not... I've seen it. <laughs> you might, might want to get away. I've been in a long training camp. Get away from me. Get away. I'll hump you in front of everybody. Get away. Get away. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jim Everett, 1994 Jim, good to have you on the show. Good to be here, Jim. Thank you. Check that. Chris Everett, good to have you on the show. In 1994, quarterback Jim Everett was traded from the Los Angeles Rams to the New Orleans Saints. Instead of focusing on that, Jim Rome liked to mock Everett for not being able to take a hit. So when the NFL player appeared on his Talk 2 show, he called him Chris Everett as a sexist reference to legendary women's tennis player Chris Everett. Everett dared the host to say it one more time. He did, and the NFL star exploded. Chris? He threw the table aside before pushing Rome to the floor. Quickly, production staff arrived to separate the two. Both men apologized for what transpired, but neither seemed sincere. Looking back on it, would you do anything differently? Or? No, I wouldn't. Uh, I think that uh, uh, all I would say, looking back on it, that is if there's any other professional athlete that wants to do a, 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 an interview with Mr. Rome, I would say that uh, to be cautious. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.